for the vision. One of the first things I remember, let's see, I remember seeing like, I saw the, I saw, um, it was for like a split second, these boulders, it's about as tall as a person, I think it was two of them. And what was different about this was that it was daylight. It, it was actually very, very bright, almost blinding the daylight. But it was an up close, it, it, it was very close to me, the rocks. Was, I think it was two rocks. The rocks were a lightish light color it was a dusty look, um, rounded on top, um, slightly narrow, and it was just so bright. It, it was daylight. The first time I saw, at least that I remember, something that was in the daylight. It was obviously daylight. It was very clear. But it was just for a split second, and then it disappeared. I remember something else. I remember seeing it, it was a um, column shape, you know, rectangles standing vertically. But I remember seeing lettering. And the lettering was... Um, how does it like like jointed <laughs> like, like like let's say it's the letter E but it would be it would have angles to it it, it was a small lettering not capital but each each part of the letter would like let's say like when you're first doing the, the letter E, and then when it's first you drew like a um, horizontal, and then it's coming upwards diagonally, and then down diagonally, and then vertically straight, and then the bottom part of the E would be like in two pieces. And they were... I remember seeing like the color, like a reddish orange. I remember seeing those colors. They were they were strong colors. But um, and it was in the column, like um, I don't remember what I don't know what it was saying, but I remember seeing lettering. And it was in that type of shape, and it was ver um, on a narrow pillar almost remind me of a mosaic like the, the, the lettering I also remember seeing two words they were larger letters little, little, little larger than the first set of letters I think there were four letter words um Word. I remember they had an O O in the middle. Um, I don't remember, but Gook, G O O K or something. So something with the O O. O Goody, G O O D E. Well, that's not, yeah, something like that. The two words. And, and then it disappeared. Let's see, what else? I also remember the, you know, the cloud formation. Yeah, I had a lot of that. And when I see that, that's how I know that something's going to take a shape. Let's see, um... It was a lot of that. 
and then I notice, like, as usual, like first you see, like, like it's like a the soft cloud. It was a lot of movement, and then within that cloud, there's like a constant, like some a concentrated energy, like. like um, it was small and and it's spiky almost like how I always see it and it intensified and, and it got concentrated and then it might move towards me or away I'm still noticing like it looked like a it looked like a a cavity a large cavity and there's an entryway, a round, large entryway. And it, and again, it seems like things are coming in, into it through that round hole. Sometimes that, that spiky energy thing, and sometimes it looks like a, a large object with with uh, leggish type of things like like before but it wasn't really clear not like what I saw a couple of days ago with the um, the dome body and then the arms looking like r- round circles That's what I rem- that's what I remember. So very interesting, interesting about the lettering, the colors. I'm seeing more colors now, and then I saw the the those two rocks that was actually in the daytime, but again it was just for a split second. I'm. Th- thinking more and more that there's another dimension or another life happening somewhere that I'm tapping into and I like to find out where so take care guys bye bye I just remembered I saw something else in one of my visions I saw this mirror that's actually in my room. This particular mirror is diagonally to my left when you're facing the wall. And when I saw it, it was pretty clear. It looked like how I would see it with my eyes open. So it was three-dimensional. And I consciously told myself that I was looking at a mirror and that mirror is in my room and is positioned in a particular location in my room. I'd like to know that when this is happening, how will I be able to, let's say, scan my room to look in other locations when I see this. When this happens, when, when I see a vision in the location where I am physically, I see it as if it is a, like, a photo. It, like, I'm not able to, you know, it's just that spot, and I'm not able to navigate how will I be able to achieve this to actually move about? Because I believe that it is my consciousness that is seeing what I'm seeing and that I'm not actually what they call astral projection. Because one thing, my body, like with astral projection, projection, your body is usually vibrating and 
it's yeah your body is vibrating but in this when this is happening to me my body is how it normally feels just regular so I, I, I just don't believe that I'm doing that. I'm, I don't think I'm actually astral projecting, but that my consciousness is able to see what it sees. But again, I don't know. But if any of you who are listening to this audio and who know, please tell me what this could be and how to actually navigate and move about to see the other locations where I am physically. Take care.